Welcome to Strata, Milk in the Field, More Milk Through Balancing Omega Fatty Acids. I'm Renee with Virtus Nutrition, and I work in California. As you may have seen some of the new research from the University of Florida showing a linear milk response to the added EPA DHA omega-3s, we thought it would be great for you to see a quick review of that research, but also have a window into those trends that we're seeing on dairies supplementing with Strata. And lastly, just a quick review of the math around strata and the profits available to dairy producers. If you look on the left here, we've got that University of Florida data that I mentioned with several different feeding rates of 0.1 pounds of strata, 0.22 pounds, and 0.4, and showing a really strong linear correlation with over 7 pounds of milk between that 0.1 and 0.4 pound feeding rate. Now what's nice is that's not brand new data as you look at the Cornell University data back in 2007 where they fed 0 omega-3s, 0.15 pounds of strata, and 0.35 pounds, and again saw that strong linear correlation to over 9 pounds at that highest feeding rate. When you put these two studies together, we see from 2.7 pounds of milk at that 0.1 feeding rate all the way up to 10.8 pounds at that 0.4 feeding rate. Now let's jump into some of those examples that I was talking about using the second test 305ME projection as a measure of improvement on these dairies. Now if we look at what second projection means, really it's an estimate on that second test day of what a cow will produce in the current lactation in that first 305 days. Why do we use this number to look at when we're looking at strata responses? Well, really, those cows that are fed strata starting right at freshening will have the greatest milk response versus those cows that are out 100 days in milk when they're actually started on strata. It's very similar to going from 2x to 3x, where those early cows have the best response. Secondly, really it's a good way to see those changes in early milk production that aren't always evident when you're just monitoring the entire bulk tank. Now let's jump into a few of these examples. This is the California dairy number one, a 3,000 cow dairy in the Central Valley, and they started on strata in March of this year and saw a real nice improvement in that second projection going into April and into May. As a side note, they also are on prequel in, as a quarter pound in that close-up group, although strata is really what drives that improvement, measurable improvement in early milk production. On the second example, this is a 1,300 cow dairy farther north in California, and they started in April of this year. And again, in May and June, going into the heat, saw a real nice bump, several thousand pound improvement in that second projection. My third example is a 1,000 cow dairy in the Central Valley that started in June of this year, going right into the heat of the summer, and also saw a nice boost in that early milk production. Now I'd like to step back a few years as I've been working with these dairies for, for a number of years on prequel and strata in the valley of California. This is a 5,000 cow Jersey dairy that started back in March of 2011 on strata and prequel. And going into the summer, you can just see this real nice boost, several thousand pound increase in that second projection that held through the summer. And my fifth example is a 5,000 cow Holstein dairy in the Central Valley that started in May of 2011 and in June and July you can see that nice climb and then really they held that milk through the summer into the fall. Now this is unusual because this is not what a typical California summer milk production trend looks like so you know that they made a significant change that was able to boost milk in the opposite direction of the typical trend. This next dairy is a dairy that actually started on strata in December of 2012 and decided they had to stop in March due to other factors that were going on on the dairy. They were actually a herd that started in prequel back in July of 2012, saw great improvements in transition performance, were convinced that that part of the Omega program was working well, and so decided in December to put strata in. And as you can see, when they needed to pull strata out in March of 2013, they saw a significant drop in that early milk production performance. As one of my other customers said when he saw this graph, hey, sometimes you really do need to put something in and take it out to convince yourself that you're getting 
the return and the results that you need. And he was just glad that he didn't have to do that now that somebody else already had. Now I'd like to jump outside of my own backyard to some other examples of some herds that my colleagues are working with in other parts of the country. Here's a Washington dairy that started on Strata in May of this year. And as you can see, their, their June data took a nice jump up, um, also going into the summer, but, but despite that, a nice bump up in that early muck production trend. And then we'll hop over to Minnesota on a dairy that started in May of this year and again saw a real nice climb in that second projection across lactations. And now we're going to take a step back a few years. This is a New Mexico dairy back in 2010 in October that went on prequel and strata. And again, if you look at that blue line, that average across lactations, really it took that dairy to a, a new level on startup milk production. And then another long-term dairy example, this is over in New York, a herd that started back in October of 2011 and again saw that nice boost in early milk production maintained over over months moving forward really taking them to a new level of performance now after looking at all these examples it really comes down to the math and I'd like to go through a couple of examples one at 0.25 pound feeding rate and one at 0.4 pounds and on this example I'm using $18 a hundredweight as the milk production or milk price. So you can see, let's go through this 0.25 pound, the quarter pound feeding rate example first. We've got 6.7 pounds of early milk production, a 50% improvement in embryo retention, and that 5 plus point improvement in early conception rates. All at a cost of about 25 cents per cow per day, and that is the replacement cost pulling out an equal amount of a regular bypass fat. And so at $18 a hundred weight for that 6.7 pounds of milk, that gives you about 96 cents of profit just on milk alone and a break-even milk response of about 1.4 pounds. And then if you jump over to the 0.4 pound example, that's 10.8 pounds milk response with a 50 plus percent increase in embryo retention and that 5 plus point improvement in early conception at a 0 0.4 uh, or 40 cents uh, cost per cow per day and that gives you a profit of $1.54 on milk alone with a 2.2 pound break-even milk response. These responses are linear so that also means that these profits are linear as well. And I need to mention that we're not including any of the reproductive benefit in that calculation so you need to uh, keep in mind that that reproductive improvement, which is proven and very consistent, is money on top. So let's end with just a couple points to remember. One, that the second 305ME projections show a consistent improvement in milk production across these dairies fed strata early lactation. This response is really beyond added energy because all these treatments had the same amount of energy from bypass fat included in the control groups. Milk is really only part of that benefit. While we've talked about milk in this presentation, really the reproduction is a strong part of that value equation and cannot be forgotten. And then lastly, the strata math works on milk alone with just 1.4 pounds of early milk production to pay for strata at that quarter pound feeding rate, really giving you a 3x return on milk production alone. Thank you for your time and attention, your interest in strata, and in balancing these omegas in our dairy cow diets to improve both reproduction and milk production and certainly the bottom line.